only on RTV6. A new study just released is giving women greater hope of fighting cancer even before it strikes. But it comes with a shocking recommendation. Remove your ovaries by age 35. Good Morning Indiana anchor Beth Vaughn shares one woman's story of weighing the odds. Michaela Graham is 26 years old, headed to med school in the fall. At first glance, she looks carefree. That is, until you ask about her family. My mom died of ovarian, my dad's mom died of breast cancer, and my grandpa died of colon cancer. The majority of her family has died from cancer, more specifically, types of cancer that have direct ties to genetic mutations. Michaela and her sisters made the tough choice to get tested. Once you get the news that you're positive, it's just always on your mind. Having the BRCA1 gene mutation big. gives her an 80% chance of getting breast cancer and a 40% chance of getting ovarian cancer. And then I'm done. I'm done with my worrying about my breasts now. Another big decision, a double mastectomy at age 21. I went from roughly about an 80% chance down to a 1% chance of breast cancer. Cooling off the mental balancing act, at least for now. You're here for your annual exam. Yes. Anything new happening in the last year? Dr. Jeannie Shielder okay, treats Michaela good. at IU Simon Cancer Center. Normal activity, any fatigue, night sweats? No. Until recently, the recommendations for someone with a genetic mutation like Michaela's were vague, but a new study offers a fresh line in the sand that's helping patients and doctors better navigate the odds. Recommended that age 35 is really what we should be recommending to women in terms of the cutoff for when that procedure should be done. By removing the ovaries by 35, this study believes a BRCA1 mutation carrier can cut her chances for ovarian cancer by 80 percent. The best way to prevent ovarian cancer in this population is by taking the ovaries out. That's called prophylactic bilateral salpingo oophorectomy. A choice that might give Michaela peace of mind, but comes with heavier consequences than her last surgery. It's menopause. It's affects childbearing, it affects, you know, bone and heart health and everything like that. So compared to the breast decision, it's it's a much bigger one. Michaela plans to weigh the options in the coming years, but with an elevated no, risk for ovarian it. cancer because her mother died with the disease, she says she'll likely take drastic measures again. That's she true. says it's a move not everyone yeah, would you know, choose. If you're gonna wake up every day and miss your breasts and you didn't have to remove them, then that's probably not the choice for you. But if you're gonna wake up every day and feel better because you removed them, then that's for you. And if you to put this in perspective, Dr. Shielder says one in 800 people is at risk of having this particular mutation. So today, there are likely at least 8,000 men and women who have the mutation living right here in Indiana. For information on if you should have your genes mapped and what this kind of information could mean for your family, head to the IndyChannel.com. Beth Vaughn, RTV6.